We've been talking about rekindling our passion for the lost. How do we go? And what do we say? We talked about Jonah. Jonah went to Nineveh, yes. Even after running away from the Lord. <laughs> he ran away from the Lord and God had to take him there by fire and by force. And even when he got there and proclaimed doom on the city, the Bible tells us God had mercy on the people of Nineveh because they repented of their sins. And when they repented of their sins, God decided to forgive them. The Nenevites turned to God from their wickedness. Jonah was not touched by that story of salvation. I know sometimes we are people who are past feelings. Even when you see a soul coming to, to the Lord, there's no excitement. There's no excitement. We need to be excited by seeing men and women turn to God. We should not be so much preoccupied with our Christian comforts. Because one of the things, the complaint that Jonah had was, you have brought me all this way. You brought me all this way. I knew you will forgive them. Why did you forgive them without me talking to them? But you see, he forgot that he was an instrument of grace. He was an instrument of grace to these people. And he should have the, had the attitude that God had, the attitude that Jesus has. You know one of the attitudes Jesus had? Is when even on the cross and the people are against him, he has an attitude of mercy and grace towards them. He says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. When somebody is lost, they don't know where they are. They need an instrument of grace that can lead them. They need an instrument of grace. And you and me are that instrument of grace. We will not waste the grace of God. We will not be like Jonah, who is preoccupied by creature comfort at the Come, this, 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 this plant that you have given me to shield me from the sun has withered. And I'm very angry about it. I'm angry that I don't have provision at home. I'm angry that my finances are not going well. I'm angry about many stuff and many things. And we are forgetting that there are people whose destiny won't be the, the flames of fire, won't be hellfire and that cannot touch our lives come on we need to be moved by compassion we need to respond in compassion to the people that are lost and when we do that we begin to see God in operation in our lives we begin to see God turning around, even those things that you've been, you've been wanting him to do. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Rekindling our passion for the lost. Jonah was the only evangelist that was not happy about his successes. And somehow, it is, a, it is a rebuke to us as a people that we are not excited about seeing God express the variance, you know, of his grace to people, taking people from the depths of sin and bondage and releasing them to serve him with a lot of liberty. I'm calling us, brethren. I'm calling us to go. I'm calling us to remember a gospel that has not been shared is a useless gospel. A gospel that has not been heard 
by others, by our brothers, by our sisters, by our relatives. It's not a gospel. It cannot change them. But when we open our mouth and speak, then we begin to see salvation and deliverance coming to our people. That's the healing that we want.